Here in the Philippines, the 32nd annual Balakatan is underway. The main objective for this joint service exercise is to improve relations between the U.S. and Philippine forces. Leaders from joint branches, including the Philippine forces, are ready to map out what's about to take place at Balakatan 2016. The initial planning at this combined arms rehearsal will set the tone for Balakatan and later Operation Hondakoa. Uh, it was really a three-phase operation. The, the first phase uh, in the planning phase, and that really transitioned through us understanding the enemy objective and how we would have to project down to an ISB, an initial staging base. So as we moved down here, uh, utilizing uh, three different methods, both C-130s from the Philippine Army as well as the U.S. Air Force, and then uh, U.S. aviation to lift us down here. And that enabled us to pre-position and uh, finish up that initial phase. So I've been uh, on active duty in the United States Army for almost 28 years. And one of the things that's certainly true in our history as a nation is that when we fight, we fight together with partners. It's just a great opportunity to continue to build uh, new friendships, in this case with our Philippine partners, and to teach young soldiers and other teammates that these kinds of bilateral exercise are critical to our strategy here in the Pacific. Uh, Balakatan is, uh, is an expression of our commitment uh, to them and their commitment to us. Uh, and again, our forces being able to come together, um, uh, build relationships at the very tactical level from individual soldiers to commanders and command sergeant majors and be able to uh, rehearse, train together, and, uh, and get to know one another's uh, cap true capabilities is invaluable for our forces to be able to operate across the Pacific. Reporting from the Philippines for AFN Pacific, I'm Marine Corporal Paul Williams.